What's up, you guys? Jenna here, and back again for another video. And today, I'm just about to go and pick up my nephew because we are heading up to Doncaster Dome to the retro game market, and I'm super excited. I'm hoping to meet some of you guys there and pick up some really cool stuff. So be warned, there will be a pickups video after this. So I think this will go out later on today, on Saturday. So it's gonna be a bit of a late video today. Apologise. And then tomorrow there's going to be a pickup video and I've got a really cool video planned uh, for the week as well so I'm like super excited for that so keep an eye out guys hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you went and tweet me here insta me here and maybe drop me a message on Facebook here and let me know what you picked up at the market if you went if you didn't go I'm sorry hope you guys have some cool shops where you are uh, but for now guys the next foot you see will be me I'm gonna use my DSLR I think I'm not even bringing my chest cam today. I don't want to walk around with an uncomfortable chest cam on. They uh, kind of combine this GoPro with some DSLR footage. So without further ado guys, see you at the dome. All right then guys, here we are. And I was surprised to see some additional dates added for the remainder of this year and dropping into 2018. So keep an eye out for that. And I wanna show you guys an entire plethora of all of the stores that were here. Starting off with this store with some amazing PS1 games. One of them I did pick up uh, for 45 quid, which you will potentially spot later. I'm gonna let you guys guess in the comment section and see if you can guess correct. But like I said in the introduction there, there will be a pickups video that is going to drop tomorrow and I'm going to show you guys what my £200 bought me at this amazing retro game market. Thank you if you said hi by the way, it was really nice to meet some of you guys and as ever tweet me and let me know what you guys picked up. So straight off the bat then you guys have seen loads of games already. I was thinking about Day of Reckoning. I've seen the spine of this in CEX before and I've never actually played Day of Reckoning so if you have please let me know in the comment section if it's worth anything, if it's worth a shot because like I said guys I've never played it and as ever if you see anything that I've missed and I already have as I've been editing this um, please let me know in the comment section what if anything you would have bought here now despite me having most of these Super Nintendo games I always like to have a little go through sometimes I will buy duplicates if the boxes are in slightly better condition then I'll get back and you know, kind of get rid of mine, sell mine on eBay, whatever it is. Um, I did actually pick this up. Um, I think a lot of you guys have recommended this to me in the past. Um, so it is, I'm really, really looking forward to playing that. I don't actually show everything in this video that I picked up. Um, I don't want to spoil the pickups video too much, um, but there's a lot of things that I deliberately kind of missed out because I know that if I hang over a certain shop for quite a few few minutes, you guys are going to know what I picked up. I didn't pick up Axel Lay. used to have it on my NTSC SNES actually, on my old, old collection. Um, but let me know if you think £70 was worth it there uh, for a nice boxed copy. Now, to me, it didn't seem as busy as what the market did in this same venue back in February. There will be a video to that linked in the cards if you guys want to go and check it out. Um, very different editing styles between the two. I just wanted to be a little bit more direct in this and let you guys see some of the games. This is my nephew Dylan holding this. He loves his Kirby. It was me and him that went. Um, so shout out to my little nephew Dylan. I think he picked up a couple of little Transformer toys um, and he picked up a Minecraft a plushie. I don't remember exactly what it was that he picked up but he was super happy as well so it's nice to kind of chill and hang out with him. Now despite me kind of having this pledge of not really buying unboxed games anymore unless it's something really really cool I do like to take a look I don't mind um, and again Dylan was kind of mesmerized by Miss Pac-Man there he actually had quite a quite a good time so I was really really happy to take him um, this mega CD I own a really nice copy and I own but this all-star set and this video and I was telling my little nephew that when I was his is his age um, you know early teens I used to have that exact set um, as I do now as an adult um, so loads of cool artwork um, as you guys uh, if you're familiar with any retro game markets it's not all about games and consoles there's loads of cool geeky stuff and um, there's a little bit of something for everything at these markets and I just really like to take my time and look at some of this cool stuff because people have put a lot of sweat blood and tears into these things and you're going to see some really nice cool shadow boxes later on so shout out to the guy that actually spoke to me at the shadow box store you had some really really cool stuff now this was probably Dylan's favorite stall as you can guess He's a young chap and he, was, he loved his toys. He doesn't really have any nostalgic con connection to the PS1 stuff, the Super Nintendo stuff, because, well, you know, it's, it's not his thing. It's more kind of our generation. Um, but Crash Bandicoot, it was really, really nice to see. I think now that this has been released, um, you know, the initial trilogy has the PS4 release. 
I think a lot of people have been hunting for it so um so that was just kind of nice to kind of pick up now i put this in you don't see much but i wanted you guys to get a vibe for how busy it was um and 40 quid each for some boxes there not too bad let me know again what do you think 40 quid for a couple um, of Super Nintendo boxes. I think they're 40 pound each, uh, so apologize there. Uh, but I don't think that was too bad if you're after um, getting a Super Nintendo box. Now, just dropping down onto this store, this guy, shout out to you. You said hello to me as well. Um, so hello back. And these were cool. I think Dylan spotted these. I have most of them, but they were a couple of quid each. I think they're old McDonald's toys. Uh, from the Happy Meal stuff. Uh, Zapper, 10 quid, not too bad at all. And when I went back to the store, somebody had bought that Assassin's Creed, so it was nice to see other people kind of getting involved and getting things that they really wanted to buy. Now, Dylan said to me, what is this? So I was explaining that this was an old ZX Spectrum. Um, my auntie actually used to own that. I had the model just after. Now, well, like I said, obviously he's in his early teens, so he definitely won't remember them. But he, he kept saying to me, "These, all this stuff is really old. It's really old. Bless him." Um, but it was super damn cool just to see his response to it. Um, and again, it was just a, an amazing day. Now, I wish I'd have picked this up. Um, a, a reconditioned uh, Game Gear. Mine doesn't work, unfortunately. And I had to take a little shot of the um, Turtles in Time there because way back when it was seven pound. Did you see this seven pound mark on it? I think that was an old CEX label, but. It was priced up here for £110. I did also see an NTSC copy on a different stall. I think it was box complete for about £85. So not too bad. Um, not in the market for it. That's why I didn't pick it up. I have an unboxed copy of Turtles in Time on the NTSC Super Nintendo. Now I love, love, love looking through all the 16-bit stuff. That was the bulk of my era growing up. That and the PlayStation, so 32-bit. So really I was kind of in the market for some Super Nintendo stuff, some PlayStation 1 stuff and some Sega Mega Drive. That was my kind of notion going into this. There was one game that I wanted to go in and get and pick up, which I did again. Let's see if you guys can spot it. But pick up to drop in tomorrow so you'll see everything that I picked up. Um, for me it was a nice kind of balance of quality over quantity on this one. Usually I come back with like my bag is so full it hurts my shoulders to carry but this time it wasn't too bad because I spent quite a bit on a game and I did bring a new console into the house as well so pretty stoked um, it was a variation of a console that I already own I'm not again I'm not going to tell you what it is I want to hear your opinions um, on tomorrow's pickups video but so far guys is there anything that you've liked is there anything that you would have picked up Dylan again was spotting a lot of the, the um the Game Boy stuff he said he wanted a Game Boy so to my brother Scott if you're watching this, get Dylan a Game Boy. His birthday is coming up, so that might be a nice present for him. Um, so there you go. I know you'll be watching this, Scott, because I know Dylan will be watching it. So get him a Game Boy. Um, stall right at the back. I don't remember what these guys were called, but they were super cool. And again, this stall was pretty gnarly. Again, Dylan looking through the Pokemon cards. He was checking out some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff as well um, on different stalls. And then I think he clocked uh, Resident Evil 3 here. Here we go. He was trying to get me to buy it, but I said I already own it, mate. So pretty good there and also these things max Payne, five quid um i actually thought it included the game as well and people were literally looking that close thinking is that right but it was just the figure it was just the statue but i still don't think that was too bad for five quid i think quite a bit of them went quite a few people did actually end up buying them so you know kudos to you and if you're watching this and you did buy a max Payne 3 statue let me know in the comment section below because i saw quite a few of you walking around with them now plushies, like you said, it's not all just games, consoles, there's plenty here for geeks if, you know, consoles and games aren't your things, um, including comics and magazines, which again, we're going to take a look at in this video. Um, again, Dylan was pretty mesmerised by all the plushie stuff, and I just love this. This is a video, this is a graded, sealed um, theme park um, game, and I just think, again, pretty cool. This was, I think it was Direct Deals, um, right in the corner. Or Lee's deals on Facebook as they're known. Um, a very, very, very good shop if you want to go and check those guys out. Now the Atari links there. Um, I have an awesome Atari links, and I considered this Nightmare Creatures too, but I put it back. Um, but just jogging back to the Atari links there, I bought a really, really nice Atari Lynx set a couple of months ago now. And if you're familiar with my channel, you've already seen it. But I just wanted to take a snap of it for you guys. I think I pretty much got everything in the in this entire market in this video and um, tombi as well that was nice to see i think that was priced at 50 pound not a bad price because it's pretty damn rare goes for a pretty penny and 50 pound wasn't too bad i don't think i bought anything from these guys 
uh, but it's a really really good stall. Faxanadu on the NES is a really nice game. I think again you, you're going to get a box copy anywhere between 10, 50 and 20 quid depending on condition and the level of completeness. Um, but if you, you're in the market for an NES recommendation then go and check out Faxanadu. Maybe check out some gameplay here on YouTube. Now again it takes a lot for me to buy and unbox uh, Super Nintendo game. Check these out. I own all of them. Absolutely all of them. So I don't know whose hand this was, but he was waving a, a GameCube controller about there for 25 quid. Um, but like I say, I always like to look at the unboxed stuff as well, just in case you get something that really does pop out. Now, N64, N64 games and consoles, I just want to say consoles were pretty pricey. Consoles that I saw were pretty pricey at the market. Games weren't too bad there were a lot of the kind of see-through um n64s i saw a boxed one i don't remember which variation it was but it was like a oh what was it 150 pound and i was like wow that's pretty kind of top end but if you wanted you know basic n64 set anywhere in the region you know 50 to 60 quid box um so not too bad for the basic sets but if you you know changing the variations then it was kind of getting pretty pricey but game wise it wasn't too bad in terms of prices um and again i think dylan was pointing out killer instinct there so dropping on this i've never seen this before sonic dx adventure director's cuts I think there's an old game station label at $7.99 there. Um, I wish they were that price nowadays. And I did say I went in for a game and I really wanted this game and I did buy it. It was cool the world. Again, I think I that's that's complete. It had all the like little leaflets in. £45, the disc was in good condition. I ummed and ahmed and I said, you know what, I want it. I really want this game. Um, so I bought it. So if you think it was too pricey, smash them comments below and let me know. Now, I ever heard a conversation on this store saying that the GameCubes were pretty expensive. Um, I don't think that that was pretty expensive, but Again, let me know what you guys think and let me know what some of the bargains are that you've bought in general. If you found some really cool stuff in a charity shop, if you found some really cool stuff in CEX or at your local retro game store, I want to hear from you in the comment section now. Picked up a couple of magazines, not from this store because they were quite pricey at four quid, um, but I did pick up some really nice old, Nint just the Nintendo magazines. I used to buy them when the Super Nintendo was the console to have. I think they used to be £2.95 back in the day and I used to get three, three I, I, maybe a couple of weeks where I'd have a little bit of pocket money at three quid and I'd go and buy my magazine. Now it was nice to see lots of Game Gear love because you don't see a great deal of it and there were lots of nice conditioned Game Gears and these with the shadow boxes so shout out to you my friend really impressed with your work um, might get in touch with you i really like the link to the past um master sword shot right there you can see his information if you pause the video and go and check him out on instagram um i was again very impressed very nice to see you hope to see you again at some future gaming markets now guys we've seen pretty much every corner of this retro game market I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Whether you're here watching videos on the out and about stuff or it's a video in the games room or you tune into streams um, in the week and on weekends, I can't thank you enough for the support. And we are going to pretty much wrap up right here. I was teasing my uh, my nephew here and saying that he liked the Thomas the Tank Engine game. Um, obviously, he doesn't really. He's too old for it. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys hit subscribe and get yourself hitting that bell for the notifications of when I upload. And hit like and if you're happy and cool and sweet, then give it a share as well. But for now, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. My name is Gemma. Take care. See you soon.